Hey, what's up, world? Um, I had an interesting situation happen today, and yes, I'm jamming to uh, Jackie Gousset. My Ethiopian vibe, you know how we do. Kept that. Um, I ran into somebody today, and they had a sign that said, please help, um, God bless you. You know, there was something in between, but I, I couldn't read um, the small letters. So, my question to you is, why are we so apprehensive to give homeless people money? Like, I understand sometimes, you know, we think, oh, they're going to use it to, to, to smoke that crack. You know what I mean? And they're on drugs. But, or drink that alcohol, you know, or do some crazy stuff with it. But the reality is, like, how do we know? Like, did we sit and have a conversation? Like, did we know this person before they got to that position? Of course we didn't, you know what I mean? And if you did, and you know that person's on crack, or you know that person is an alcoholic, then yeah, definitely, you know, be considerate in what you give them. Totally understand that. But in the reality where this is a random homeless person that you never met before, never seen before, or it's like your local homeless person and you're like buddy buddy with, why are we apprehensive and judgmental um, to giving them some money? I want to put it out there like this. If you were homeless and you had no food, no clothes, nothing other than what you have and what is in your stomach, would you want somebody to give you a chance you know to get a meal that day to be able to go somewhere and take a shower that day to put on some shoes on your feet to put some food in your stomach you know what i mean maybe a jacket hat gloves maybe it's cold as heck outside maybe it's hot as hell outside and all you got is this damn winter jacket and the sticky ass t-shirt you've been wearing for a month you know i just think that as a christian woman i look at it and i say a prayer you know and to each his own but this is what i do I look at the situation and I say, God, if there is an opportunity where this person is going to be led astray and use this money to do something that's harmful to their bodies, because you are a mind changer, be there. Be there and stop them from that position and, and, and change their route, you know. So instead of getting high or getting drunk, that they can actually look at this and say, what do I need to get today for myself? You know, is it food? Is it maybe for my child or for, you know, my, my other buddy or whatever who's struggling out here? I just feel like being a humanitarian and being the big hearted person that I am, and I thank God for that is, I look at it like that could be me. I could be in the streets. I could be sitting in that corner asking for some money or asking for some help. Now, I'm not in a position to give this person a job. Now, by the grace of God, if I could, I would I, I would figure something out. But if I was able to put some money in that person's pocket or, you know, go buy you some food and buy you some extra food and buy you a bottle of water, you know what I mean, and a couple of other beverages, so then that way you have something to hold tight with, then... That's what we need, because at the end of the day, we're all connected, and we all do need to be there for each other. Now, this message ain't for the punks that are in these streets hustling people and making killings off this 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 this, this thing, and going back to their you know middle class, high class life or whatever. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the people who genuinely, genuinely ain't got nowhere to go but to a shelter, you know, um, and just had their down time and maybe their down downtime is an extension over years like but I just really want to encourage you you know world to go and sit down and maybe have a conversation or just buy the man or the woman a cup of coffee or you know something or just say a prayer for them you know like God bless you brother God bless you sister like I just you know I pray that you get out of this situation you know what I mean um being privileged to work in social work industries and nonprofit, you know uh, organizations I just think like I just can't walk away like I genuinely cannot just walk away and be like yeah whatever like we all struggling out here in these streets I mean I've struggled before and if my family members and my friends and a random person didn't come and try to help me because it's pretty nice pretty nice I'm joking but no like if people did not come and help me I wouldn't be in the position that I'm at and I don't think my heart would ache the way that it aches because I'm like that just could be me you know and I was fortunate enough by the grace of God not to be in that position 
So I really do feel like some people really do need help, you know, and I think that we do have to touch based on our humanitarian side. You might not be the person that gives them money, but you could be the person that can give them a job. My boy was telling me, just hire them to hold signs, you know what I'm saying? Like pay them minimum wage or less than minimum wage cash, right, boom, boom, like $30, $40 for however few hours or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it gives them some something. Um, could pay for a room for that night for them just, just to lay their head. But I just really think we really do gotta walk in other people's shoes and don't miss out on your blessing, people, because tomorrow it could be you, it could be any of us that could be in that position. And you know, I really do believe in karma. You do reap what you sow, and sometimes karma is a <clears throat> so be cool. Alright, love y'all, take care, and um, let me know what you think. <laughs>